windows and all the lights ought to come on at the very end for one last hurrah. So we'll see. It's 48 out there. It's not quite as warm as yesterday, but it's still pretty warm. We're going to be in the 60s again today. The sun's coming up. All the kitties appear to be close by where they're supposed to be, so all is good. And Don's going to work at least this morning. We'll see. And uh, so we were up at 7. Everybody's here and doing good this morning. That's, what I, that's the way I like it. It's a lovely morning. Yep, it is. It's a nice morning. Don's going to call the cable company while we're walking because our internet is not good. And I'm not upset with Don, not even a little bit. But he takes the brunt of listening to me be upset about the internet. So... We got to get it fixed. I can't turn the videos around. I can't. You know, it took hours last night to upload a 4 gigabyte file, and that's ridiculous. And that was on the 5G because we can't even run the cable modem right now. So we're down to whatever the 5G will give us. They were supposed to come back Friday, which was Christmas Eve. I get it. But we think they've forgotten about us now. So we're going to call and remind them that we still exist and still have crappy service. And oh, we'd like a credit, by the way, for an entire week of unable to use the internet for more than five minutes at a time. Well, whatever it is they're doing over here, they're doing it with that big piece of machinery. All right. Don has gotten through to an agent. So we've done our three laps, including one lap running, and uh, we're doing pretty good this morning. It is really still quite pleasant out here. The uh, cable people said, uh, go install our mobile app if you want to read what your service ticket said. <laughs> okay. And uh, they're sending somebody out between one and two, although, I mean, and that's great. That'll be same day service, except for our understanding was is we didn't need somebody to just come out to our house. They needed the crew that sniffs the lines in the neighborhood and uh but you know hey at least they're giving us a little bit of attention a little bit we'll see we'll hope um that that's going to fix things because it's it's really been going on for a long time now so how's your legs feeling from all that uh, 13 miles on the unicycle yesterday i didn't even notice it this morning that's pretty good actually i'm impressed that i didn't um i didn't have some kind of um soreness or something because um you know, I'm conditioned to ride the unicycle, but, you know, five minutes to and from the, or three or four minutes to and from the mailboxes is, is different. Not 13 miles, because it was like a 56-minute ride or something like yeah, that. Yeah, about an hour on there. That's yeah. what I guess. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So, yeah, that was a little, that was, uh, I was happy. Well, I um, don't feel any different from riding on the bike. If we uh, decided to get on the bike later today, the Ruby's still loaded up, I would be good with that. Yeah, well, I've learned how to, um, on my Halo, it's actually very easy. Uh, I learned how to do it, so I just did a walking activity and stop and starting. But you can go back, and I do like that. Like I said yesterday, it's like you go back and add it, but this, this lets you record it without using the app. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with our walk was about what it normally is, but we picked up a lot of trash today. It was very frustrating how much trash. Someone had obviously had a Christmas or birthday get-together at the pavilion, yeah, so and uh, there were candy wrappers all over the ground up there. To this spot, 6197, 59 minutes, 44 seconds, uh, 1845 per mile. Well, that's not too bad then. Yeah. Stripey! He was down off the driveway and I seen him running, but I guess he wore, he ran so fast at first that he then wore himself out. <laughs> Cause he's sure not running now. Hey buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi Mart. So I'm getting caught up on yesterday's video. I couldn't do it last night because of our internet woes. So Ruby appears to be offline because we've been having internet woes this morning. Okay. I hear there's an update rolling out to older S's and X's in the fleet this morning. Oh. Uh, that's going to have some, I guess, of the holiday stuff in it. I just don't know what it is or it isn't. Okay. So since you're headed outside anyway... Could you do the power off, power on, reboot the car while you're out there and make sure she's on the Wi-Fi? So I turn it off.
turn it on, and then uh, 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 reboot. Reboot. Okay. Yeah, that worked last time like a charm. And then just make sure she's on the Wi-Fi. Make sure she's on the Wi-Fi. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's been a couple days, and I've got an hour while some files finish uploading. So I'm going to put away bricks and work on the inside of the second floor up here. Um, I'm waiting on some bricks to come. Hopefully they'll come today. I haven't looked at the tracking orders this time, but I did realize one important thing here and that's that the trap door opens um, here, right where the bed would be if I put it here. Now Don said, why don't I just put the bed sideways? And um, that's not a bad idea either. The only thing that probably requires me to do is this was like dots for something to hang over top of the bed. And um, maybe I just um, switch those around. But at any point, this cannot be where the bed goes because that's where that trap door comes down. Unless I decide... I don't know, that I want to do something different about the trap door. I got to think for a minute. The cats were hanging pretty close to the house. There's stripe over there on top of the <clears throat> bricks. Morris sticking his head out from eating in the catio. Of course, Marty. Not sure where Tux went, but um, Spectrum is here and he's trying, but we may still be in a situation of waiting for somebody else to come. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't given up hope yet, though. There's Tux. I guess when this guy gets ready to leave, I'll walk out just to make sure it's clear. Although, usually, non-electric vehicles, they run for the hills. mostly sorted all the stuff from the Lego store and all the stuff from the last order I had come in and I need to go finish up the video the rest of the files I guess are where they need to be now so um I was really excited about being able to create our own custom light show uh at least on jewels for now and um, I have no experience with X lights, but obviously I have experience with um, programming and especially with um, application building kind of window stuff in the timeline because of the video editing. So um, this uh, information that Tesla put out on github.com Tesla motor slash light show pound getting started. Excellent, excellent. Um, instructions i had no problem following it on my macbook here and um you know getting uh to the point where i could build my first show and um last night uh, i was successful the very first time with a with a very basic show so um i wanted though to try to say a few things that might make it easier for folks that have gotten this far and are still looking at it and not sure what to do First off, um, you got to get a WAV or an MP3 file. And I am an artless subscriber, which means I have a lot of um, copyright free music. And I came in here, Rex Banner is one of the favorite artists. And um, I created, I pulled down the WAV file because they said you could use MP3 or WAV. The first one I did last night was MP3, but today I down went ahead and downloaded the WAV. And I have moved that into, um, for me, everything is under uh, documents. Uh, the X, I've created an X Lights folder under documents. That'll cause it to get backed up for me to the cloud. And um, you ju I just put my, my music in here. I had uh, This is Halloween from Kids Bops last night is in this folder, but today I've got this. And so you need to go ahead and have that music ready to go, or you can, you know, get X lights up and pause for a second, but the instructions um, walk you through that. So I'm going to say hide this little window down here because it sort of starts to matter now. And um, I've come into X lights and I've done what the instructions said, 
And I've closed all of the windows except for color because you need access to this brightness bar here, the uh, view or the timeline looking thing, and then of course the car. And they tell you to double click on Tesla Model S. Now look, it uses Model S, but it has all of the controls for all the model cars, including the Ys that have the matrix LED headlights and not. They just use the Model S to, uh, you know, picked one car instead of having a separate list of controls. So I double clicked on Model S and you, you know, if you double click back, you can close these things uh, back up but you want to open up all lights and closures and you can slide this out so you can read them. And um, it does scroll down. There are a little bit more than will fit on my screen, no matter what I do. And, um, you know, I've got my music up here. So if I press the space bar, it starts playing the music. Um, at least I can hear it in my ear. Uh, I've got my, my AirPods in, but I said to use the internal microphone. So, go ahead and take my AirPod out of my ear and it should play now uh, regularly uh, here. There, okay. And I'll go ahead and turn that down a little bit so we won't, it won't be quite so loud subsequent times. So um, getting uh, anything, something to happen is really easy. It's um, let's, uh, let's say uh, right outer main beam, left inner main beam, um, or excuse me, I, I, okay, I'm getting tongue tied now, I apologize. So first off, when the show starts, the windows are gonna go down on both sides of the car, front and back, no matter what. And I think that's to make sure you get to hear the music really well, okay? So that's gonna happen at the start of the show, you can assume the windows are down. So in the light show they shipped when they're going up and down, up and down, they started out down and that's um, that happens by default when the show is activated to the best that I can tell. Number two, um, I'm trying to understand the timeline here. This is like a minute and 33 second long song, so it's not really long. So I'm trying to understand. Um, I guess it's in uh, divided into six second intervals. So that's like the first six seconds. Yeah, because it's showing the time over here. And you can hit the space bar to stop it back if you start it. So um, there is a limitation, and I don't remember. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot unless you're really good at these shows, and then it's probably nowhere near enough. But um, you want to put in some time increments so that you're having stuff happen pretty quick. Um, and you do that by clicking down here in the timeline. Okay, so I'm trying to slide it there and pressing T. And you see now I have this really faint light blue. So let's come in for this song just to make sure that we're having stuff happening quick enough that we can see it. Um, I thought I did the T there. I'm trying. Uh, last night it was just boom, boom, boom. Why is it not doing the rest of them? I really... Um, if you want, for me, if I want to zoom in or zoom out, I'm just using my trackpad to do that. But I guess I'm not understanding. Um, maybe I got to click up here and do the T. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. I'm still learning a little bit. Obviously, I'm still learning too, but I do want this to be helpful to others as well. I've lost my little mid marker there, but that's fine. I want it, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're just trying to get these, we're just trying to get stuff to happen um, often enough that we can sort of see in between that something has happened, right? When the windows are going up and down, that takes one of these T, every time it goes up or it goes down, you know, there's T stops and there's, um, time interval stops. There's also this um, ability to um, fade in and out on some of these things. So like, I guess maybe the light's being full power. So I don't know if I actually got that, how close I am to six seconds or whatever. It really doesn't matter. But if we come back over here um, to the right. So in order to add our first effect, we're going to drag this white box and we're just going to put it in the row and the column. Um, so think spreadsheet here. 
And we're going to do left outer main beam on in this interval. And we're going to do right outer main beam on. Okay. And so to make it flash, we could, um, you know, we could, do, we could leave that on and let's skip one and come over. I'm trying to get a little fancier than I was last night. And um, then uh, we can go ahead and um, turn it off. We want to, or, you know, put it back to, I'm trying to remember the whole. Well, first off, okay, back up. This turns it on. Uh, the empty box automatically turns it off. This turns it on. This turns it off. So if we drag it over here one more time, okay, and it ought to turn it back on. So we could make this this thing be flashing the entire way. All we'd have to do is drag the boxes every other time. Um, and it, it being blank means it just automatically turns off. So they've made that pretty good. So we, like I said, we want to keep this one pretty pretty simple and I'm just going to finish uh, filling in these spots here and obviously I didn't quite get the time things even but um, it's okay for purposes of our demo it doesn't really it won't it won't really matter there's a um, EV pad out there on YouTube he had a really great demonstration although I did find out just slightly for me that um, I was confused about what he was pressing a couple of times. I needed a, a little more, a little more slow for me as far as what was being pressed and not pressed. So these outer main beam um, left and right on the front of the car, they should just basically be going on and off for the entire, for the entire minute and 33 seconds. Okay. Um, maybe we, what we want to try here is for inner left and right. Let's put these basically in staggered, uh, blocks as far as the on and the off stuff. And I want to point out, uh, we're going to go full with the mirrors here in a minute. And I want to point out that um, they start out open for the show because, um, you know, you've, you've, well, I guess if you close the car, they may close. But for me, they started out open. The car wasn't locked. Um, Don, you know, Don was still out there with the key card and the, and they were open. So I had sent a command to open them and they never did anything. And that's because they were already open. Um, so you got to kind of be careful about that. Almost done here. And then we'll go down and review a little bit more. And like I said, you know, you can scroll here. The list is not complete. It won't quite all fit on the screen, which is a little bit of, which is a little bit annoying, but, um, channel, uh, there's a picture out here that talks about what lights these are, where, where it doesn't make sense. And that's over in the instructions. So let's go back to the instructions. There are, um, a couple of pictures in here, the front headlights or whatever. So this is the, um, matrix headlight you've got this little tiny number one over here and here is the headlight that jules would have a number one um and so these things are numbered and it's telling you what these numbers are so outer main beam that we turned on was number was number um was number one and then um i don't see that yeah an inner main beam is number two so that's here so if you wanted that whole thing to light up, number seven is this one underneath. So you have to sort of, and I'm sure you'll remember it really quick, learn the numbers that go along with the things. Um, one of, you know, so if you're, people are mostly going to be standing on the front of the car, obviously you want to do stuff that they can see from the front. Although, you know, you can open the charge port door, you can turn on the brake lights. So let's come back over here. Um, down at the bottom are more of the things. Uh, lifting the lift gate is here. Um, I think I've got to. Yeah, is that going to give us the whole list now? Yeah, the brake lights back here. Brake lights are here. So you got to think about where people are going to be standing and the effects that come on. Um, but turning things on and off is that easy. Um, adding the time increments for what it will do. And then. 
I'm still learning about the brightness, but apparently underneath the color window, that's the only thing that you have to um, ramp up and ramp down. And um, I can see where you would want to do that some with the lights. Okay. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm going to throw a bunch of other stuff in here and then I'm going to go out and run the show um, on Jules. So you rename when you save this thing and I have one saved from the other day and, um, you know, getting it installed to the um, car is not a big deal. Let's make this window big now. And so the light show folder is here and I have a num1 dot fseq and uh num2 dot fseq and what i did is i re whatever one i want to use on my thumb drive i renamed the light show all lowercase dot fseq as a matter of fact i have the stick here so let me just stick that in the side of my computer and we can actually go look at it i named it light show it's going to show up over here in location i said it's going to there we go i named it light show all caps that doesn't matter but light show with the capital L and the capital S, that does matter. And you can't have anything else on the thumb drive except for this one folder. So it can't be shared with your dash cam or your boom box. And then inside of there, lightshow.fseq, whatever you call it when you save it, because you probably want to have different iterations, just whatever one you're putting on the on the thumb drive you want to rename. And so, and the same thing for your MP3. You want to rename it to call it light show or your wave file mp3. So I'm going to finish the one I'm doing, save it probably to num3 because that's just the kind of number thing I had going on. And then, um, you know, that's just how I was keeping track of my iterations of things I have tried. And then I'm going to copy it over there and then I'm going to go try it on Jules. And last night I didn't want to pull it out of the garage but um today I, I will and i'll have the doors open and the back open and do some other cool stuff i did a lot more stuff this time so if she doesn't do everything just right i won't be surprised um hopefully when you click start the show it says custom light show and you want it to say custom light show if it doesn't say custom then well it's not custom so let's see what she does. <laughs> I did move her out because I did tell stuff to open this time. Windows going down is good. So I see what you want is back and forth on those top lights a little faster than mine are like really fast there's stuff going on on the back too probably I have some brake light stuff happening yeah I saw the light as I came around back here it should come again yep wow pretty cool it's got to have a lot more things and a lot faster though yeah, there's the side repeater light came on that time and you can control the top brake light versus the actual tail light. I think it's doing everything I asked it to do, except I haven't seen the doors actually open or the mirrors move. And I did tell it to do that at some point. So there might be a little trick I've missed in getting that to happen. It's easy enough to do though. I can see how it would be addictive though, trying to get it just right. So I've done something that caused the doors not to open. So I still haven't got, or the lift gate. Huh. So I'm gonna have to go figure out what I did wrong with the lift gate and the doors, but all the lights, everything I told it to do with the lights worked right. And it does put the windows back up at the end, which is goodness. You know, the original Model X show would leave the windows down often. I'll be back, Jules. If I end up going in and out of the house too many times trying to fix this, I'm liable to just come back out with my MacBook and everything I need so I can just unplug and replug the USB drive. All right, here's iteration number two. Well, two today. Three if we're counting from the beginning of time. All right. 
We ought to see a few more things happening now. I've adjusted the brightness on the mirrors and the lift gate and the charge port. The doors won't open on Jules. Oh, it went up, it went up. That's the first time I got it to do that. I'm so excited. <laughs> It might dance. Oh, look at the mirrors, they're flapping. Oh, they did, they went in. Yeah. Oh, it's dancing. The lift gate danced just a little bit. That segment's not probably oh, quite. There goes, the there goes the mirrors again. Now we gotta see if the charge port ends up doing something. Oh, there it is, it opened. I did tell it to dance, but, um, I would guess that the interval that I, oh, it's flashing. See, it does Rainbow Road in the charge port when you tell it to dance. That's what it does. It does Rainbow Road. How cool is that? Okay. Side markers? Yeah, they're, they do come on one time. I guess I managed to roll the front window all the way down. Because it wasn't quite, I don't think it was quite all the way down. It might have been. <laughs> Oh wow, look at the little light inside the car. That must have been the one I got back there in the back. Yep, I see it. <laughs> Way cool. Well, I got Very the lift cool. gate and the mirrors to move and the charge port to move. Um, I would say the dance interval, there's all these rules and you have to really familiarize yourself with the rules. And it rolled the windows back and, up. Well, it does that. It rolls them down and back up, and that's just with every custom show. So I didn't actually do anything there, but... Way cool. It was doing... I'm excited that the other three... Impressive. Things besides lights were working this time. That iteration of it worked. Pretty cool. My girl's awesome. All right, this is time number five. I've intentionally left the light on because I'm more interested in seeing if things are working right than... Uh, what's going on. If I'm lucky, the lift gate will dance this time in the middle before it closes. I saw the mirrors close. I have the dance routine in there and I made the segments longer. Okay, there's some dancing on the windows, dancing on the lift gate. Yes. Oh wow, that is so cool. I made it dance. The mirrors still are not doing anything. There's the charge port. I don't think I made the, tried to make the mirror. The mirrors don't dance. You could just, maybe they do, I don't know. Anyway, the lift gate and the mirrors did what they were supposed to do now. So that's cool. The lift gate should go down though, at least by the end of the show. Okay, there they go. There's the mirrors back out again. Yeah, I got the back windows closed and I really shouldn't have let them close at the end. It turns the music down too soft. They warn you, it's only internal, um, it's only internal speakers. So if you close part of the windows, you're gonna lose some of the sound. All right, well, I got the dance working. I would say the only thing, I gotta double check what was I trying to do with the mirrors and those windows going up at the end, I gotta make it not do that because it shuts off the sound too much. All right, iteration number six. The mirrors don't support dance, but I made them open and close correctly now instead of a big gap of just not doing anything. So all the lights are obviously are the easiest part and they're doing what I wanted. Oh, I forgot to fix the back windows. I got so engrossed in the mirrors. Of course, I got all kinds of light stuff going on back here. And with the, uh, oh, I love it when the windows dance. The windows dancing is the coolest thing ever. Because <laughs> this is kind of slow, but I mean, you don't want to damage it. So I do get it. I do get it. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Maybe I fixed them from not closing this time because oh, they all went up now. So that's why at the end. So I've got to make sure the windows stay open because when the lift gate closes, then you can't hear the song. So if I fix that one thing, 
I forgot to watch the mirrors. I was so enthralled with the dancing of the lift gate. <laughs> I like the song I picked. I like Rex Banner. That's, I use his music a lot in the videos. Yeah, it needs more light stuff going on, but still, I did it. Pretty good to me, All right, number seven. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do this time. I, I took, I deleted the thing that closed the windows. It wasn't that uh, serious. And I want to pay attention to the to the front, the side mirrors, and make sure they open and close and open a couple of times. That was a close. It is closer to the beginning than to the end. There go the windows. I love the windows. All right, the mirrors did their thing again. Hopefully, yep, they opened one more time. So the mirrors are doing exactly what I told them to do. They don't dance, so they're not as impressive. On Ruby, they on Ruby they seem to dance. Of course, Ruby has those older, more sophisticated mirrors that have the uh, di dimming uh, brightness and everything in them. So maybe the motor in them is more sophisticated. I don't know. But the chart says none of the models support dance. Way cool. Probably at the end, I should have had everything come on and go back off. Okay, <laughs> it's time number eight. I just don't stop good. I uh, had the windows not closing at the end of the show after that last change, so now I close the windows and all the lights ought to come on at the very end for one last hurrah. So we'll see. Mirrors closed. Yeah, um, it's got a pretty good number of commands now. Yeah, the windows. I'd like the front lights to be more back and forth. I've got them coming up. Everything is even on both sides and there's definitely some room for left, right, left, right to kind of spice it up some. Okay, the windows have stopped dancing and they're still open. That's good. And we'll see at the end. There they closed the mirrors again, but that's all right. They're supposed to open and close several times during the show. Lift gate closed. Let's see if things get a little brighter here at the end. I don't know that that worked at the end. And the windows still didn't close. Uh -huh. Oh, there they go. Phew, okay. I'm happy enough to call her good for now. The windows do, it's better if they close at the end of the show. So this is the X-Lite show um, details that matches with my eighth iteration um, that we just uh, watched outside. So I did, um, as I said, find out that the um, mirrors don't dance. So all you can really do with them is turn them on uh, and off. Um, I'm starting with off, close them, and then open them. Close being 75 and open being 25. Um, in the brightness, that's how you control those. Uh, but what did work for the dance was the windows. So here making sure the window is open with a brightness of 25 and then dance is a brightness of 50 and then right at the very end of the show 
um, a brightness of 75, make sure that they're closed because I had that one time where they stayed open after the dance. And um, you can see the front um, fog lights going on and off uh, a little bit. The outer and inner main beams in the front going on and off quite a lot. Uh, the side repeaters went on and off. And, um, you know, down at the very bottom, and it is hard to see that. I really have to make that color window all the very small. You can see the charge port and the lift gate stuff. Here's the lift gate um, with the brightness of 50 doing, doing the dance um, mode there. And it is sort of turning these white lights over here in the little model on and off um, at various points here as the timeline goes, um, where you can see uh, that it's modeling what's what's going on there. So just make sure you're really going to need to have this um, documentation over here as your friend. Here's where it talks about um, the dancing being 50% brightness, the close being 75 open 25 here's where it talks about the mirrors don't support dance mode um you really gotta make this document over here your friend in order to make the most out of the out of the show so um i hope i've proven that it's not too hard to get started and that most anybody with a computer can um come in and build at least the, the basic show like i did it's not too complicated and you know, I had a couple things didn't do what they wanted and I tried it on the car and then I came back in and I fixed it and I tried it again. So um, have fun with it. Uh -huh.